hello my wonderful people yeah welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video so if you have been following me you know that uh, i promise to show you how i make my button holes using manual sewing machine so in our previous lesson in a previous video i showed you how i made these shirts um top so i also promise that i'll be bringing the video of the button hole so i have made the button hole now i want to show you how i do it okay so let's get started and if you're new to this channel you are very very welcome thank you for joining this wonderful family yeah because i believe you subscribe but if you haven't done so please hit on the subscribe button below it is just for you to be part of this wonderful family it is free you are not charged anything for subscribing and also turn the bell beside it so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be among those that will be notified so i just want to show you what i do or how i do my buttonhole previously i do pay people to do buttonholes for me whenever i make shirts and you know that was really taking me time and money but when i realized that you can actually make your buttonhole and buttonhole doesn't really need to be hundred percent as in but all you need is just for it to be neat because there, i realized that there are different types and designs of buttonhole and that encouraged me to also do my using my manual sewing machine instead of you know going out to those who have the machine because i don't do shirts all the time so i didn't see any need to buy the buttonhole machine but with this method now I don't think i need that anymore <laughs> okay so let me just show you what i do so to get started i want to do this on a plain fabric using contrasting um color thread okay so that it will be very very clear to you so this is what i do before making your buttonhole you would have sewn your button to the shirt or to the placket so i thought in my previous lesson that when it comes to making shirts or the buttonhole and button placket where you have the buttonhole has two stitches one on the outer side and one on the inner side okay so this is how it should be and that of the button as well has just one stitch the one in the inner side so if you followed when i made this shirt i explained that for the buttonhole i made two stitches one on this side and one on this side but for the button area i made just on this side i stitched only one side and that is what we have here okay hope you can see this clearly so now i have sewn the button to the button placket using needle and thread of course and i believe a lot of you already know how to do this so you would have done this before making your buttonhole so we'll go ahead now to do our buttonhole so for what i have here because the fabric is a bit light i had to iron estate to read okay it's like the light is too bright let me reduce it so that it can focus so i had to iron estate to read okay so to make it thick and that is what you need you need a thick surface for your button hole so i didn't iron estate to this because of the fabric is thick and the folding made it even thicker so when you're making shirts bear that in mind so the next thing now is to place the button hole placket on the button placket how it is supposed to be then you mark out where you have your buttons okay remember i said you would have stitched your buttons and that is exactly what i did here i first of all stitched my buttons then i brought the button plaque the buttonhole placket or neat like this and i marked where the button will be so for the one on the collar it is horizontal okay i don't know if you can see this it is horizontal that is the the button on the plaque the buttonhole on the pla on the collar is horizontal why the rest is vertical okay so you can see it the rest is vertical so that is how you make your buttonhole okay so now you take your the, the buttonhole uh, side you place it on where the button would be that is on the button placket and you mark it because you need to do this because it is for the button you are making the pla uh, the buttonhole so your buttonhole has to be 
um, has to take your button so you don't just make button hole just like that you need to consider the button you will be um, using with it okay so that is why you need to put the button then you place it this way and you mark you mark the button so there are different ways of doing this but this is how i do mine so some people just measure the button and measure that on the body hole placket so i measure the button and i mark the length of the button and where the button that is where it will stop and this is what i have so i'm using a contrasting color chalk as well so that it will be very obvious okay so this is it so i decided to mark it very very hard <laughs> so that you see it so this is actually how i mark it okay the length of the button and wherever it's stopping i just give a horizontal line there so i, I, I marked this very um thick so that you can see but when i'm doing this on my fabric i don't over mark it in order not to stain the fabric i just give slight mark okay but i make sure i extend it a bit so that when i'm stitching i'll see where is stopping so having done this now just this is all you need to do for now just mark the length of the button and where you know you're stopping like that then we'll go to the sewing machine and i'll show you how i stitch it okay so let's move over to the sewing machine so here we are i'm going to start stitching and i'll be using a contrasting color thread as well so that it will be clear to you but when you are sewing yours make sure you're using the same color thread okay matching color thread with your fabric so but just for the sake of the tutorial i'm using a contrasting color thread so this is what you're going to do now you would, you see this center mark you made so i forgot to also tell you that you need to measure your plaquettes measure your plaquettes so your button should be at the center okay so when you place it like this when you place it like this your button should be at the center even when you're fixing your button the same thing measure your placket and fix your button at the center okay so now we'll start stitching so just make sure your mark is bold a little bit okay so that you stitch on this side of the mark and on this other side so let's do that now you start from where you have marked the length of the button you stitch very close to the line now you'll be stitching as you're stitching you are you'll be back stitching at the same time so just watch what i will be doing okay so as you're stitching you'll be back stitching that is you'll be back stitching gradually gradually at every point you keep back stitching until you get to the end okay so you just back the way i'm showing on the screen now just keep back stitching like that gradually 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 until you have gotten to the end of the um space you made that is for it to be very tight so by the time you are done stitching this side you will just go to the other side like this you come to this other side okay and you do the same thing close to the line you can decide to just cut your thread from here you do the same thing again just close to the line so and it depends on the size of button you're using if you're using a very big button you might decide to just give you know a little more space so that is it so you can see what i have here now you will turn okay you will turn and you close your stitch here. And do same for this other side.
just cut out the thread so you can decide to make this as bold as this other side then you close it So you can see what I have here. Just cut out your thread and here it is. Okay, so you can see your button hole. So the next thing to do now is get a blade and cut it open. So you can just decide to put this on a glass surface or on any hard surface and you cut it open okay and here is our button hole so this is not all by the time you have done this now you want to you know clean up the edges that are rough so what i usually do i take my lighter and just smoothing it by just burning the edges gradually like this or gently So you do this carefully, okay, not to burn your fabric and you have it here. So this might not be 100%, but at least it's compared to the ones I showed you, this is okay. Yes, it's okay. So when you compare the stress of going to look for people to do buttonhole for you and you do this, it's still okay. This is what I use for this um, shirt, like you can see, this is how I made it and my children's school uh, uniform and all that and other shirts that i've been making too of recent this is how i do the button hole and uh, you can see the button will go a long way to at least cover it a little bit and you have it so by the time you compare this with the ones you see you see that this is not bad at all yes like i said it doesn't have to be 100 percent all that needed is for it to be neat and accommodate your button so i hope you love this video please give it a like and uh, share with your friends don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so also turn on the bell notification so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be among those that will be notified i would love to see you in my next video remain blessed